Let's let's have another go. Let's have another go. This time we'll use our brand new wagon that we just unlocked, taking our trusty trio called Jessica, Frank, and Aaron. So what we got? We unlocked the glitch, didn't we? Aha! That's that's a description and a half. And off into the forest we go. Oh, okay. We're just shooting sprites from the game. I don't know what it does to the animals though. Let's have a look. Ah, oh, frazzles them completely. Okay. Well, this <laughs> this is so weird. Oh, and it fires quite sporadically as well. Okay. A posse of bandits interrupted, of course they did, as per usual. Okay, I, I quite like this wagon. Oh, it's a bit big actually, I, no, on, on reflection. It's a bit big, but the gun isn't too bad, and we start with all of our health. Obviously the problem is we don't get any animal hides. Uh, on by using this. A machine gun armed bandit, of course. Why is it, why is it... Oh, fire. Lovely! Aaron left the wagon to look for wild berries. Okay, Aaron, don't let us down. Uh, cave entrance. Right, okay, let us investigate the cave. It's, it was very dark, yep, of course. And upon lighting a torch, spiders and giant ones. Oh! And he ran back from the cave to the wagon. They ate a filling meal of rabbit stew. Yum! <laughs> Lovely! They reached the river crossing. Let's go! We gonna jump it this time? I think we will. Why not? They got a running start and leapt from the top of a ledge. A layupsie daisy. Good. Somehow they made it across and landed near a den of bears. And the large thud woke them. Of course it did. It's alright. I have a flamethrower. Come at me, bears! Okay, well that one that one came at me and won. Health, lovely. And into the Great Plains we go. Pew, pew, pew. A large herd of buffalo. We knew. Oh my. Oh, we're getting rammed in a bit here. Oh, another flamethrower will come in very useful for dealing with all of these. And we also get some hides as well. Loads of buffalo. Here we go. Eight times the buffalo. Don't really want to pick up that gun. Oh man, come off it. Oh, this is easy. Lovely. Shotgun. Because why not? Get ourselves a good bunch of animal hides in case we come across a trader. Another flamethrower. Just want me. Oh, and the angry buffalo are here. Okay. Whoa! Right. So it seems if we can catch the middle each time, we can be able to take two out. Lovely. Ooh. Health. Good. Look at this, we've gone from having no hides to having the most hides we've ever had, really. Maybe not that many, but... What do we got? Smaller and easier to move a wagon for 47 hides, well... No brainer! Yes please! Four, yeah, oh yeah, good. Oh, that's it, look at that. And it's fixed as well, it's no longer glitched. There was a tornado. Oh, damn it. The wagon was picked up by the tornado, of course we were. Oh, along with some buffalo. Whoa, whoa, whoa! <laughs> Still got plenty of flamethrower ammo. Oh, health missed. Not to worry. There's some. Good. Oh, that was close. The wagon axle broke and the wagon was stuck. What, in the tornado? Okay, we were put down by the tornado. Fine. Jessica left the wagon to walk to the nearest trading post, which was miles away. Oh, here we go. It's the long walk. 
coyotes hounded her. Where are they? Huh? There's one. That doesn't heal Aaron. Didn't think it would, but it's worth a, worth an investigate. Okay, we got our glitch gun back. It was a long journey. <laughs> okay. Ooh. Lovely. That's it. Get rid of these guys. Oh! Ah, a very long journey. <laughs> oh, through the wind and rain and the torrential night. This lady, because I cannot remember her name, travels the long mile to the trading post. So look at that, we've got like a big laser gun, but it's too late now. Jessica reached the trading post. The replacement axle cost all of Jessica's money, and then she had to travel back. Come on, Jessica! The long journey home. Being hounded by coyotes all the way, of course. But it's okay, because our glitch gun can stop them in their tracks with no bother at all. That's it. Get out of here. Feel my justice. The Great Plains are huge. <laughs> of course they are. Get out of here, coyotes. I shall glitch you to heaven. Or depending on the life you have led. Oh, the music reset. We haven't had that before, I don't think. The Great Plains are over 500,000 square miles. <laughs> Statistical information for you there. A little bit of uh, light reading for your journey. Get out of here. Feel the justice of the glitch. I quite like that. Finally just reached the wagon. After pairing it, they travelled onwards. I like justice of the glitch. That sounds cool. Another river, which was too deep to ford. Now, do we go around it or do we swim it? Hmm. I think we're going to go around it. I, I prefer my luck going around it than swimming through it. The probably wise decision to take the desert path around the river. Let's go! Into the desert, which is hopefully not 500,000 square miles like the Great Plains are. A fur trader? Hmm. Offer to trade them a faster... What? Don't tell me the game is glitching out on me again. They avoided venomous snakes. Oh, some health for Aaron. Ah, lovely. Let's continue to just spam the glitch gun to try and uh, keep our way clear. And the hungry vultures. Lovely. It's okay, we can avoid these things. If we can't avoid them, we can glitch them to Hades. With our glitch gun of justice, feel the wrath of the glitch gun. And it's justice bringing powers. They notice some supplies in the sand on the side of the trail. Frank left the wagon to investigate. Huh. So what do we got? Huh. Frank then realized why the supplies were there. He was in a giant ant hill of giant ants. Oh man. Okay. Oh. Oh man. Oh my god. Whoa. Then the ant queen. Queen or what? Whoa. Queen ants are bigger than worker ants. That made the giant queen ant big enough to kill Frank in one bite. Well shoot. When Frank did not return to the wagon they decided to carry him without him. Well this run went terrible very quickly. Into a mountain pass. We haven't been to the mountain pass for ages. Food supplies were dwindling, so they hunted. Not that we can use any of the food we gather here, but... Never mind. It might be cool if we can come across an extra... An, like a, another companion, because that can happen. There were a lot of llamas. Oh, good. Oh my god, there are indeed a lot of llamas here. Run away from me, llamas. Because I can certainly not kill you all. A pack of wolves smelled, smelled the blood. There wasn't no blood. It was just pure glitch. Glitch dust. It's like fairy dust, but broken. Get out of here. 
if we can kill the, make the priority the wolves, because of course the problem with this gun is we don't know how uh, how um, reliable its rate of fire is. So we need Howl and Good Time Survival Mode. That sounds good to me. They came across a fur trader. Oh, cool. Will you come with us as an extra person? Offered to trade them a hot air gun to replace their for 96 animal hide. What's a hot air gun? Is that a flamethrower? I don't know. An avalanche? Oh no. How do we do with boulders? Oh, we can't shoot these ones, I don't think. Okay, we just gotta dodge them. That's fine. We can dodge an avalanche. Not many people can... Few wolves attacked. Just because. Oh, there's an avalanche. Quick, let's attack those wandering travellers. Said the leader of the wolf pack. He was quite a posh man. He, uh, his, he sounded a bit like Dave Berry. Matt Berry. Oh, I don't know. Carefully navigated around debris. You see those travellers? We should attack them during this avalanche. That's what he sounded like. It's funny, because the right-hand man sounds like the E4 man. So he said that idea, and then it was followed by a... I agree! Let us do that! Afraid the walls would return, they travelled faster. Oh, dodge the debris! Dodging debris! Quickly now, not too quick. Because otherwise it gets a lot harder. Oh! They travelled so fast, they accidentally drove off a cliff. Oh. Right. Well, we've never made it. Some eagles attacked the wagon. Okay. Eagles? Oh! Oh, my. Oh. I don't think we've ever made it this far before. This is interesting. Oh, man, eagles! Come on now. We need to make it down safely so that hopefully we can get some health. Luckily, the wagon landed in a river. The wagon, now a raft, was carried down river by the currents. Please get me some health. I need some. They had to avoid boulders as they navigated their way across the rapids. How much do these do? Do these. Oh, these. Okay, they take two bullets each by the looks of it. Oh, that was risky and stupid. Oh, some of them don't. Some of them take three. Oof. Come on, I need health, please. It must have been salmon season because there were a bunch of bears in the river. Bears? Oh, and boulders. Bears and boulders. Why did it have to be... Why did we have to travel during salmon season? Mind you, it probably wasn't salmon season when we left. But we've been travelling for a hundred days now. Almost half a year we've been trying to get to Oregon. Oh, that bear's going to have to wait. They noticed something on the horizon. It was a bandit on a raft. Seems the bandits had followed them and set up an ambush? From all the way back at the start? Okay. Well, let's do this. Oh, they've got shotguns this time. Oh, and bears and boulders. Bandits and bears and boulders. Oh, my. Bandits and boulders and bears. Oh, my. <laughs> oh, no. Aaron died when a bullet struck him directly in the eye. Oh, how unfortunate. Come on, then. It's just you left. The bandit had stolen some kind of riverboat. It's just the oh, one remaining guy left. What's his name? Was it Frank? It's just you left, my friend. Oh. Oh, my God. Bandits and boulders and bears again. Oh. No. Now is not the time for death. Following the attack, the river became calm. Jessica reached the coast. Jessica left the wagon to admire the sunset. Ooh, get out of here. Let's get rid of some of these. What even are they, anyway? Soon there would be more wagons heading down the track. <gasps> we unlocked shuffle mode. And the fancy wagon. Ooh. Yes! We made it to Oregon! Well, how about that? We've made it! We've unlocked all of the survival modes and we've got a shuffle mode as well. Wonderful! Well, I bet you didn't expect that. <laughs> um, lovely. Well, we're going to carry on with this because there's still some other things we can mess around with. Um, but yeah, we've finally made it to Oregon. 
Uh, if you enjoyed this video, please feel free to give a thumbs up. I mean, I think a thumbs up is deserved for getting to Oregon at last. Um, but yeah, leave a thumbs up and a comment and let me know what you thought. And if you really enjoyed it, of course, make sure you hit that subscribe button. But thank you for watching, everyone. I shall see you next time on Super Amazing Wagon Adventure. Until then, I love you. Bye-bye.